Hello, welcome to another episode of Mark II Golf Stories. We're continuing our engine rebuild on the GTI today. Uh, today we're going to be rebuilding the head, so let's do it. So we've got the head back, it's been skimmed, everything's been cleaned out. They've K-lined the valve guides. Um, so my dad's put on the valve stem seals. Most of the springs are back in. We've got one more spring seat, springs, and set of collets to put back in. So we're gonna do that, and then we'll get on with rebuilding the rest of the head. Okay, so start with our spring seat. Small spring. Big spring. Cap. Now I cap, thank you, Dad. And now we need to compress this down to get our collets in. We're putting this over the valve underneath down here you okay down there go on get up jump down get up I think we we'll go about a quarter of an inch past the um, collar right let's get one of these collets on so here's our collet um, and it goes on so it's wider at the bottom you've got this narrowing at the top which goes around the groove okay Use another screwdriver to try and keep it in place. So we can move the magnet. Get behind it and push it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That goes further down, actually. I know. Over the thing does. Yeah. You can see it now. Right. Right, leave it, leave it. Okay. <coughs> it's too high up that now. Oh. Yeah, what is it? Is it small enough? Push down any. No. Well, if you push it that way, it should have closed it in. Oh. Right, what you need to do is one of us needs to hold something against it as you turn it round. Right, that's against it now. So, if we can hold this like that, um, like that, and then turn it. Oh, this one's a bigger one, better. Can you hold the button, Dad? Quick. Come on. Right, you got it. There we go. It's fine, eh? <sighs> you really don't scratch the brain. There we go. Oof. So I guess now we need to put a bit of oil in here and get the cams back on. Dip them in. Okay. Do that. So we're just going to put a bit of oil on top of each of these um, spring seats. I guess the spring seats, what are they? Spring caps. And we're going to uh, dip that in the oil. Dip these in a bit of oil as well, the um, hydraulic lifters. So if it's nicely lubricated, put them back. There you go, that fits in there, okay. No, I don't want to breathe out this one. Oh, 
you can see it's a pretty straightforward process. So we're going to crack on doing these and we'll come back when we're finished. Okay, the last one. Here we go. So I'm just going to put a bit of oil in this channel here where the, uh, where the cams sit. Make sure there's no debris in there. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. So when you put these cams in, as a reminder, on this cam, there's a little dot here. So there's a little dot there on the cam that needs to be facing in the centre. So both cams will line up with each other with this dot. And they're lining up, aren't they? So there you go, both those dots on the cams are lining up with each other. Of course, I check those dots on the sprockets from the side of the head here, make sure they line up. And when tightening down, they should line up with the top of the head. Right, before we do anything else, we're just going to give these caps a little clean out because there's a lot of muck in there. When we use this little brush with them, you'll see exactly how much muck there is. <coughs> but yeah, there's, there you go. There's, there's a really thick, gritty old oil here and that all needs to yeah, come out and get rid of. So we're going to give these a good soaking. Um, I'm not sure what spirit, maybe, have we got any petrol? That's just from one being cleaned. That was clear petrol a second ago. Put some gloves on so I don't have to completely stink of petrol and try and protect them a little bit as well. Okay, right, well, I guess we'll just crack on with the uh, with the rest of them. There we go, there's all the grit and dirt we got off the cam caps. So I think that was a good shout, giving them a bit of a clean. And they all look a bit shinier too, so win-win. Okay, this is the scary part. So we've done this before, and when we've tightened up these, we might have actually snap one of these studs once. So be very careful when we do this. And the way we do it is basically the reverse of when we took them off. So the final step and when we removed them was loosening the nuts on caps two, four, six and eight. So we're going to start with these by gradually tightening them up. Okay, so it's the two end caps next. So, those are now all hand tight. Let's just check these again. And we'll talk them all up afterwards correctly. One and three. One, three. They're next. Ooh, two folds. 
Right, one and three are done. What's next? End cap Neva cam chain. What's this one? Then five and seven, so five and seven, the last two. They still seem to be ever so slightly out, by about half a tooth. Right, I'm not sure if you can tell from this, but those two dots on the uh, cams look to be about half a tooth out. Um, I spoke to a couple of people on the internet and they think it could be the timing chain is stretched, so I think we're going to have to order a new timing chain. Um, so I guess I better get one of those ordered. Got our new chain, so we whip all these back off, put it on, see if it makes any difference. Okay, so our new chain is on, and hopefully, you can see those two dots look like they're lining up a lot better. And more importantly, the, well, not more importantly, but also the chain, how we've got this slack in it now, has it down? Do you want to give it a little poke? Solid. So, yeah, that's looking a lot better. Yeah, so the next job is to torque up the caps and we need to be torqued up to 15 newton meters. It's just bloody moved on. Sorry, got this. Let it back. Leave it. Look at that, it's just bloody moving when that's tightened up. It shouldn't move at all, that. When that's tight. That's it. right, not, not too much for it. It's still staying on 15. It's just been moving slightly. And we need to, to test it on so we can do it up tighter. No. Well, we don't trust this old locked uh, torque wrench. Uh, it seems to be very tight when we're tightening to. 10 or even 15 newton meters. So we're gonna see if we can borrow Albies. So, we've now got Albies correctly calibrated and working torque wrench. It's all tightened up. We're gonna tighten these up to 15 newton meters. Let's see if we can get these tightened up first then. Sounds best, not like the other one where it was fucking <sighs> letting us tighten it and tighten it and tighten it and not clicking. Just loosen these off, it's the one I was doing last time, isn't it? Just loosen them all off again. Right. Okay, so I'll do the rest of them and then we'll come back. Those are all done. So I guess next job is to find the uh, outlet that goes here, put that on, then we can get this part of the inlet manifold on and then uh, get whatever goes on on the side down here. So let's find these parts. So here's the um, pipe that goes on the front here. It's a bit of a state, so I think I'll uh, give that a bit of a clean.
Okay, there we go. That's looking a bit better. Got a new seal. So it sits in there like that. Oh, sits in there like that. Just going to give this old gasket area a quick clean up. Then we'll get this on and get the other hose on the side. Et voila. Now we've got this on, we might as well get the uh, this part of the inlet manifold on. Just going to make sure that it's not going to interfere with getting the rocker cover back on. I don't think it should do from memory. No, that'd be fine. Right, let's just get that on then. Here's our new gasket. How's it going? Ah, there we go. Goes on that way. Right. Or more precisely, that way. Just get these tightened up. So we've got all these bolts tightened up to 10 newton meters. Same for the one on the side, 10 newton meters. So that basically is our head rebuilt. Yeah, there we go. So that's all basically back together and rebuilt. Obviously, we've got the warm up regulator and the distributor to put on the side. Um, here's the warm up reg. I think we're going to leave these off until uh, we've got it all back on the car. So to make it easier for lifting and you don't want to break anything. So yeah, if you found this video helpful on uh, rebuilding the head, get it all timed up, replacing your chain, consider dropping a like, click on subscribe. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them down below. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. It's good to see this thing finally coming together. Oh, one final thing. Hey, look at that. What do you think? Yellow and black, good combination. Hopefully we'll have it all back together again soon. Oh, it all works. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.